It means that signal. We need more power. Of e. I am your host Elliot Miller and in this edition I'm looking at the Zenoscope Entertainment releases for October 2013. So the end of September releases include The Grim Fairy Tales No Tomorrow Number 2. After surviving his near brush with death, Patrick has begun noticing peculiar appearances of the mysterious pale woman he saw before the destruction of his office building appearances that defy all rules of logic and possibility appearances across the world where traffic tragic events have left an ever-growing trend of death and murder but as he learns more about carrie's past he will come to realize that if you look for death then death will come looking for you from the creator and writer of the wonderland trilogy fly and the dream eater saga once death has chosen you there is nowhere to run Nowhere to hide, nowhere to escape, escape, and no tomorrow. Then there's Grim Fairy Tales Realm Knights number two, written by Pat Shand. Sela, Red Riding Hood, Robin Hood, Van Helsing, Captain Hook, Shang, the Realm Knights have assembled for the greatest team book in team book in Xenoscope history. Chaos rules as the insidious titan Kronos rampages through the earth, through the earth, searching for his all-powerful scythes. Meanwhile, the Realm Knights journey into the underworld and go head-to-head -head with the fallen god Hades. Fairy tales and Greek mythology collide in the summer blockbuster event from writer Pat Shan. Then there's GFT Wonderland, number 15. Violet and Callie have finally come home, where it all began, to find the only family that Violet has left. But the ghosts of the past linger in this place. Violet will finally come to understand the true nature of madness, in a lesson from Wonderland that she will never forget. The just-released titles include Grim Fairy Tales Giant Size 2013 Unleashed Part 6 of 6. Written by Pat Shand. After the shocking events of the previous issue, what, you didn't read it? You learn! The heroes of the Grim Universe are left scattered. The search for Shang concludes as the truth of the being's plan is revealed. And nothing will ever be the same. It's the finale to the biggest event in Xenoscope history. Introducing a brand new character, Jacqueline Hyde. Hmm. Wonderland, Down the Rabbit Hole, number five. Written by Raven Gregory and Pat Shand. All of the madness, all of the horror and terror, has all led to this. The walls keeping the Jabberwocky imprisoned in Alice's mind have begun to crumble, and an ancient evil will soon be released back into the realm of madness, if Alice cannot find a way to stop him. The final battle that will decide the fate of Alice's sanity and the tragic destiny that awaits is here. All this, and the mystery of the little faceless Alice, is finally revealed, and everything you thought you knew about Wonderland will change forever. Don't miss out on the hotly anticipated conclusion of the psychological horror series written by Raven Gregory and Pat Chan, and that leads us into the brand new Wonderland Through the Looking Glass series. So, Xenoscope's current releases include Wonderland Through the Looking Glass number one. You knew it was coming, didn't you? You knew it. Come on, you knew. The series that every Wonderland fan has been waiting for is here. Of all the evil and sinister beings who have occupied the terrifying realm of Wonderland, none have instilled fear in all they meet as much as that one particular hat-wearing villain. The boy turned man who nearly ended the world as we know it is back. The most diabolical villain in the history of Wonderland returns. The story of Johnny Little's transformation into the sinister Mad Hatter will finally be told, and his origin may very well drive you absolutely mad. From writers Raven Gregory and Pat Chan comes the follow-up to the hit Wonderland series Down the Rabbit Hole, where a world of horror awaits, and it's no farther away than a step through the looking glass. <laughs> 
Then there's the Grim Fairy Tales 2013 Halloween Special, written by Pat Shand, Dan Wickline, with covers by Alfredo Reyes, Joy Washington, Joe Pekar, and billions of others. Billions. Just kidding. Over the years, Sela has faced a host of foes. The Piper, Headless Horseman, Jack Frost, and the Scarecrow have all menaced her at one time or another. But she's never had to face them all at the same time. Until now. In the midst of a Halloween designed for Sela, Red, and Robin, they have to have some fun or all hell breaks loose and they find themselves in a fight for their lives. Or something like that. This is one Halloween they'll never forget, if they manage to survive it. Okay, so this one I couldn't resist for a mini review. It's Halloween time again, and this time Xenoscope brings together their hottest beauties in a battle against who? Somebody? Everybody? It seems that Sela, Robin, and Brittany have been tricked into gathering together into a mystical trap. It's a haunted house populated with all sorts of traps, dangers, and monsters. The ladies are split up, and each must face this hell house on their own. Will they defeat the evil house? Who's behind it all? The whole book is a setup for a bigger and scarier things to come. It seems that a new arc is in the works, and the Halloween special gives you a first look into what we can expect in the future. Future... This issue was pretty entertaining and features four different artists in the issue. Each section of the story gets a new artist, which is really a nice way to showcase what Xenoscope has to offer. The story is also co-written, and the three most popular Xenoscope heroines are in the story. We also get to see many of the villains that have crossed their paths over the years. The entire Halloween issue is a showcase of what Xenoscope has to offer us comic enthusiasts. If you are a Xenoscope fan, or you've thought about picking up some of their comics but didn't know where to start, then this Halloween special is the perfect way to dip your toes in to test the waters. Screwed number five. Yeah. Written by Keith Thomas. This is the issue not to miss. A demon from the past appears to threaten air insanity. Anne attempts to reach out of the, to the life she once knew but can she get past the monster she's become? <sighs> Meanwhile, the main event that fans have been asking for since issue one, Agent Simon and Suture Face... <laughs> Agent Simon and Suture face off, and only one will walk away. Yo! <laughs> as if that's not enough, the stage is set for the explosive finale as the mysterious puppeteer who has been pulling the strings, is finally revealed. Then, of course, there's Oz number three, written by Joe Brusha. Dorothy travels... Dorothy! Dorothy travels through the land of Oz in search of the Viridian Scepter to bring her face to face with one danger after another. Luckily, along with the danger, with she also finds new allies in the Lion, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow. But unknown to Dorothy and Glenda, one of these new companions may not be the noble friend they pretend to be. I'm reading it, and I actually believe that they kind of know who it would be, as far as I know. Oz is here again, and so it's time for another mini-review. Dorothy wants to return home, but her only hope lies in re reuniting the three pieces of the Viridian Scepter. Unfortunately, the Wicked Witch of the West wants them all dead. Don't you hate when that happens? As the book opens, her evil wolves are attempting to rip our heroes to shreds. Only the sudden appearance of the Tin Woodsman, who looks a bit like a Terminator, saves them from death. They continue on their quest to find the old wizard, who might know where the other pieces of the scepter are. The Scarecrow leads them right to that old wizard, who gives them a location, but then dies mysteriously. Did the Scarecrow betray his new friends? Hmm. They travel to the haunted forest to retrieve the second piece, but it is booby-trapped and Glinda is caught. Then the witch appears and lets loose her horrible flying... bees? Will they save Glinda and obtain the second piece of the Viridian Scepter? You'll have to read it to find out. This issue was as entertaining as the first two parts, and I like what they have done with the Tin Woodsman. I'm not sure who the witch's sexy red-headed partner in crime is, but I'm sure we'll find out more soon. 
Overall, another issue filled with action. I can only hope that they aren't just building up to an anticlimactic errant bucket of water at the end of the story. But we'll see. Grim Fairy Tales Hunters number 5, written by Pat Chan. The Being, Samira, Ravenous, and an endly ar endless army of monsters versus Sela and the four exiled monster hunters. Things don't look good for our supernatural fighting quintet as they face off against the greatest threat Earth has ever faced. Will the, our time-lost hunters find a way to defeat the impossible obstacle before them? Or will the being escape the Shadowlands and unleash his evil upon the world? I don't know. It's the final issue of the events prior to the main Unleashed series, which is also ending this month. Okay. Anyway, from fighter writer from fighter Raven Gregory, who die. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me for this Xenoscope update. Yeah, I left my bloopers in. I thought it would be entertaining. You don't like it? Okay, fine. Mm. For this Xenoscope update, stay tuned for more comic, gaming, and geek culture news from the voice of E. I am your host, Elliot Miller, and until next time, keep your mind free. Don't start charging. Get me that signal. We need more power.